So today we're gonna know about Yalla Arabi verbs. This is Samer from Yalla Arabi team. I'm going to teach you today it's something really important. So uh, I need your time, I need you focusing, I need you to grab your pen and your paper and uh, sit back and to don't be guys impatient from the impatient generation which is you know we always uh, for the social media always just uh, like looking for the, the next so this class it needs your time because it's really important after you knowing the present verb regular verb present this is just my recommendation about like uh, my experience of teaching in the first learn how could you use the uh, present verb the regular to don't mix them just for I, you, we, okay? Ignore the third person, which is he, she, they. Until you make sure you could really use I, you, we, like quickly, and then you move to know about who we, he, he, he. So he, for example, it's same for you, man, right? You say, Inta b'tishrab, he, b'tishrab. Inta b'truh, he, b'truh. Inta Tilbis, heyib tilbis. So today we're gonna know about Yalla Arabi verbs. Show you Arabi verbs. We collect all the irregular verbs and we put it in grammar, okay, to make it easy for you. Because we can't move for the continual verbs or the future verbs or the past or the imperative verb without knowing this in the verbs. So I wrote them on the board. So firstly, the irregular verb, the yalla Arabi verbs, when the verb has vowel letter, shul vowel letter, a, o, e, right? For, for example, look to this first one, bjib, I bring, bjib, you see the middle vowel letter, weak and fusha, it's uh, middle weak, like, or weak middle, in the middle there is a weak letter, which is the vowel letters, a, o, e, bjib. Bnam, a, pool. Bnam, I sleep, pool, I say. Hala, in this before, uh, uh, this is the first one. Verb has vowel letters, three letters, okay? The regular three letters. Uh, and in the middle has vowel letter. The second one, uh, verbs has just two letters, the root. We're talking about the root. The root has just four, uh, two letters. Pes, I feel. Heb, I like or I like. Shem, I uh, smell. Verbs has shabdi. Bhaddr, I prepare. Bdarris, I, I teach. Bdarris, I teach. Bellish, I start. You see, verbs has shabdi. Shabdi, as we said, it's uh, make the letter stronger. Stop you. And it shared the sound with the letter before and with the letter after. See, had, the, the rest. The fourth one, which is not too many verbs, has more than three uh, letters. The root has four letters. Psafer, psafer. Hala psafer, I travel. Psafer, I travel. Power, I try. This is the irregular verb. Verb has vowel letters, verb has two letters, verb has shaddi, verb has more than three letters, okay? Hala, the fourth one, as we said, it's not too many verbs, has four letters. If you realize, this is for I, I'm talking about I, okay? So, it, all of them start with sukun. As we mentioned it for, uh, with the verb before, in no... Uh, the regular verb start with vowel letter. Yani, you say bi, bi, bishra. You say bi, bilbes. For I, I'm talking about I. We should understand for I in the first and then for the other person in the Hala, as we said before, when the verb start with vowel letter, gonna be for the personal pronoun, start with sukun, consonant letter. For example, if you say Bishra, okay, this is regular verb, 
For you, male, let's give an example. You say, Tishrab. Tishrab. It starts with Sukun. Tishrabi, Tishrabo. Hala, hoon, if you realize all the Yalla Arab verbs start, for, start with Sukun for I. Bjeeb. Not Bjeeb. All the learners always say in it, Bjeeb. Or Ana Bikul. Or Ana Bihab. This is when you say that, I could understand you, but sounds sweet for me. Why? Because Bijib, who we Bijib? Right? So, that for I, all the Yalla Arab verbs start with Sukun. Bijib, Bnam, Qul, Bhis, Bhib, Bshim, Bhaddar, Bdarras, Bellish, Bsafar, Bhawil. All the Yalla Arab verbs start with Sukun. The, up, the left of it, the personal pronoun, start with a uh, haraki, yani with vowel letter. And you can try it. You can say, you say, jib. For inta, bi. Bit jib. Inti, bi jibi. Into, bit jibo. Nahna min jib. Hui bi jib. So you don't really feel the e. It's so light. Bi jib. He bit jib. Ani bi jibo. Okay? It's the same for all of them. Let's uh, try now with a jeep, let's say. Jeep, jeep, jeep. Okay. For I, you say jeep, enter bit jeep, enter bit jeep. For you, male, female, uh, enter fix to fix. Uh, enter bit jeep. نحنا منجيب هو بيجيب هي بتجيب هني بيجيبو تمام؟ هلا if you see the real Arabic verbs for I start with سكون for the left of the personal pronoun with حركي and the opposite is correct شو يعني the opposite is correct؟ يعني the regular verb start with حركي the personal pronoun start with سكون I know it's a bit for you, it's you're thinking too much now. This is just helping you for a pronunciation to, to be your pronunciation like Arabs. Okay? So let's take off this one. Why I'm talking about this one? Uh -huh. Because, as you know, when you have something before the verb, for example, Baddi or Rah, which is uh, future, I will, Am. Am, this is for a uh, continual verb. Or lama, when, lama, okay? So you might take off the first letter. Kif, usually, I think we put a instead of b. For example, if I want to say I want to drink, you say biddi ishra, right? You say biddi ishra. Hala. You, for I, this is we're talking about I, you put A instead of V. But for the Yalla Arabic verbs, you take off the first letter completely, even for I. Yani, Bji, you say, Lamma Ji, when I bring. Biddi Ji, I want to bring. Rah Ji, I will bring. Am Ji, I am bringing. So you don't put A instead of V, no, you take it off completely. Yani, you can try it with Dijib, Rahnam, Ampul, Lamma Hers, with the Herb, Rahshim, Am Haddur. You take off the first level, okay? Why are you talking about that? Because usually, sorry, it's very really windy today. <laughs> uh, and I am on the uh, one like the other class of the academy. So, okay. So, as we said, usually you put a masalan emshi. Okay? Bidi emshi. Bimshi, I walk. Bidi emshi, I want to walk. Rah emshi, am emshi. You put A for I instead of B when you put something before. But here, okay, we can, we're not gonna go too much grammar, uh, grammar like this. We just wanted to understand that help us to talk. Because our mission is to make you talk like easy.
to we don't want to talk, to think too much about the grammar before talking. We wanted to talk. We wanted to uh, have conversation with people. So, as you see, this is you, when you put it before regular uh, yalla Arabic verb, which is the regular verbs. You take off the first letter. No, for the regular verb, bishrab, bakul. Yeah, it's not yalla Arabic verbs. You take uh, you put a instead of b. Okay. I just wanted to uh, let's have let's make uh, like sentences. مثلا بدي شم I want to smell ريحة الورد the smell of the flower ريحة smell smell as well but it's different not like English the verb not the same now بدي شم ريحة الورد what where is the be we take it off because يلا عرب بير and there is something before okay so this is Yalla Arabic verbs. When we put something before, we should take off that first letter. Some people, for example, say Bitti Asham. Everyone could understand you, but as we say, it's just sound weird. Okay? So you put, uh, you take off the first letter if there is something before it. We're talking about what? We're talking about Yalla Arabic verbs, which is again. The verb has vowel letters, the verb has just two letters, the verb has should be, the verb has more than three letters, which is four. It's as we say, not too many verbs has four letters, but it's uh, including the grammar. Okay, so psafer how? Tamam? Okay, so I hope it was uh, useful for you guys. Don't hesitate if you have any question, leave it in the comments. You can give us another example, of course, in the comments. We're working hard just to help you falling in love with the language, make it more logic for you. Have fun, shukran, next session. Mm -hmm.